Now we're going to add another element to our canvas. We're going to check out how they work together with transitions, pauses, changing the size, changing the camera position setting, and we're also going to replace an image. Let's add another image to our scribe. We will go up here. Let's type in laptop. And we'll bring this image down. There we go, we've moved it over. Let's make the draw time a little bit shorter. Now what if I wanted the transition from this image being drawn to this image being drawn? What if I wanted to zoom into this laptop? Well, what I do is move this over a bit. And now this is highlighted, the laptop here. I'm gonna zoom into 146 there we go okay so i'm gonna set the camera to current canvas position okay i've set that let's watch it play out here there we go so during the transition time the laptop was zoomed into and drawn out let's just zoom out for a second so we can see the canvas here okay now let's say I actually want to see all of my images being drawn on the canvas at once. I don't want them zooming in and moving around like that. What I would do is I would click on the first one and I'd reset the camera setting. I'd click on the second one, I'd clear it, reset it, click on the third one, clear the original setting and reset it. And this is how it would be drawn out. Okay, now I've got my three images here. Let's say I go, huh, you know what? I don't really like that laptop. I want to replace it. Go in to change the properties and using this icon here by clicking on this, you can replace the image. This will save your transition time for the current laptop. Let's just go here into the image library. Let's type computer this time. Okay, let's say I, I actually prefer that image, so let's preview it. That's what it's going to be drawn out like. Okay, I like that more than the original laptop, so there it is. It's replaced the original laptop that I had while keeping the draw time and the transition time and the camera movement time. Okay, so that is cool. As I'm transitioning from one element to another, I, in most cases, prefer that the hand when it draws, that it doesn't go off screen for a few seconds and then come back. I actually prefer it continuously draws one image after another. So let's preview the scribe as we have it with the current pauses and transitions. You'll see the hand goes away, then it comes back to draw the second image, then it goes away and it comes back again to draw the third. So let's see how we can change that. So I'll go into the first image into the properties here and I will Bring the pause down to zero and the transition down to zero. Click the check mark. I'll go into the file cabinet and do the same thing. I'll bring the pause down to zero and the transition down to zero. Click the check mark. And I will do that once again for the laptop screen. Although we are not gonna see that transition go into effect yet because we don't have an image to follow. So let's see what this looks like. See how the hand stays drawing? It doesn't leave the screen and then come back. I like that, so in many cases I will make the pause and transition time zero. I'm gonna add another element and move it over so that you can see what it would look like if you were to increase the transition speed. So let's go into the add library to the canvas icon. We've clicked on that and I will click on this icon here in the top right to browse the library. Let's go into business and let's click on those books. So I'm gonna zoom out on the canvas for a second. Then I'm going to, I've moved these books over to the right and I've really increased the size. I'm gonna move the canvas all the way over so that 
all you're seeing is those books. I'm going to bring the draw time down to 0.5 of a second. I'm going to lock the camera position by clicking the camera icon over on the right here. Now I'm going to go into the previous element, which is the laptop. I'm going to go into the properties here. Let's just decrease the animation time. And I'm going to bring the transition time up to, let's go to 2.5. So click the check mark here. And I'll show you a preview of this starting from the computer. We won't go all the way back to the other two elements. So I'm going to click play on the timeline here. See how it took 2.5 seconds to transition away from the computer towards the book image. So if I brought that transition time down to zero and push the check mark, let's, let's see the difference. See how the drawing came out a lot faster and the hand that's drawing these images didn't leave the screen. Depending on if you're working with a script that someone has voiced over and you want to fit your drawings with the timing of the script, sometimes you will have to decrease the transition and pause time and get through images really quickly. And sometimes you'll need to slow them down. So that was a look at the transition speed, speeding it up and slowing it down. I'm now going to remove this book image. I just wanted to show it to you so you could see the transition time. So we'll click on the trash can here. And yes, I want to remove that image. And now I'm going to double click back on the laptop here. And there we are.